Hey everyone, it's Selena here of More Fabrics. Where have I been? I've been lost cutting fabrics. <laughs> I feel like all I do every day, every day is cut, 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 and cut fabrics for you guys from all over the place. <laughs> no complaints. I am so blessed beyond measure. It is a new year, so uh, new products. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Selena. Um, this is the dress down version of me. This is my my work gear. My hands are all strapped up with straps to make sure I'm strong when I'm cutting this stuff up for you guys. Um, I uh, pretty much have a shop of more fabrics um, on Etsy and I sell a lot of fabrics that you guys are looking for for your crafty projects. So I wanted to introduce with you guys today the new product that I got on. This is two big wraps. Um, it's all in here. It's one fun thing when I get product from India. I just love how they wrap it. They just take one of those long silk scarves and they just wrap it and bind it up kind of thing. And inside there, it's just a ton of goodies, which I figured I can have you guys come along and I can open up a few of these bundles. So what's new? What is new is obviously this <laughs> this garage. I never do a video to show you guys what part of the cutting room looks like. This is one section. They have like three other sections that way. Um, this is just like a nook groove where I check out the stock. I just got the stock in no more than 30 minutes ago. So I'm grabbing this stuff out of um, these boxes and I'm examining it. So I figured why not show you guys what it takes just to just open up one bundle. Um, and so what I do is I order stock by colors, designs, and sometimes when I order, um, I don't get exactly what I asked for. And it, then it becomes an issue and then I have to reach out to them and then say, hey, I'm missing 20 orange. The green looks terrible. Can you, you know, replace this kind of thing? And so it usually stock day when I get new stock in, I have to go through each and every piece, examine it. And then there's the factor of the condition or the scent. Um, a lot of stuff from India has a scent. Um, so then that means I have to process it. Either I need to wash it, hang dry it. I mean, like air dry it outside on the big clotheslines. Um, just, it's a lot of examining your, the product before I feel it is okay to package, cut package and ship out to you. So. Long story short, I figured I will open up the new of the new things I do not have listed in the shop. For years, I have been researching silk, sari silk in general. I hear and I see all over the place, sari silk, sari silk, sari silk. Um, and a lot of places, it's really not silk. <laughs> and I was having an issue because I want, if I'm going to buy silk, I want it silk. I don't want Georgette silk or a satin or a chiffon kind of fabric that is flimsy and loose. I didn't want something that was going to be too soft with too much loft that um, I wanted silk. I, if I'm going to buy silk, I'm paying for silk. I want silk kind of thing. So finally, after years of research, um, one of my many vendors, uh, you know, she's kind of gave me the upfront answer. <laughs> it's kind of hard. I kind of have to pull, pull out a lot of information, figure out a lot of things myself. And I came across 100% pure woven silk. Now there's different kinds of silk. There's woven, um, there is silk that, um, that is not woven. It's very, very soft when you think of like grandma scarf kind of thing and it's really soft and flowy and I really didn't want the soft flowy, right? For you guys' project. I wanted something taut. I wanted a silk that was like nice and tight and tough um, that almost feels like cotton, but it's silk. And it's silk and what I figured out after all this time, it's a woven silk and a woven silk, which makes sense, right? When something is woven, it is stronger, you know, and you would think I would have got it, <laughs> but it's not that simple because um, in India, there's so many different names for silks and different types of garments that they say are silk, but it's not 100% pure silk. So I am rambling, but I figured it out and I found the silk <laughs> and now I'm going to show it to you guys. And it usually comes in five yards per per wrap of this bolted silk. Um, and uh, it's beautiful. Right now, here is the purples. I think I bought, like I said, a hundred of them. And so uh, this is the purples they say is purple. Now, even though I request certain colors, the colors may not be exactly like, say, 
purple. Like some of these things look kind of pink. So I have to go through, figure out what I find, I find is purple and not pink because the shades can vary, you know, like variations. So a lighter purple, darker purple, and sometimes purple has shades of a soft pink to it. So then I have to determine, okay, what do I find is actually purple and what isn't purple? So I have to go through that too. So I got, um, I think I got 20 purple, 20 blues. The blue is calling my name out. This is the one I think I'll open up first. I love purple, but this beautiful, I don't know if you can see, I see some beautiful blue perking out here. Blues, um, in the background, if you can see, I got some reds, yellows, oranges, pale pinks, and baby pinks. I asked for a very soft pink and not bold, bold pinks. But I find that um, already just peeking through here, and the purples, I see she did put some darker purplish pinks. So I did request dark purples, like more darker tones, and I'm hoping she did follow through. We'll see. But what my goal is for this is to, um, I want to take this silk and put it, uh, make sari silk strips for you guys for sari silk ribbons. I guess some people call them ribbons, some call them strips. Um, but I'm going to put both the name in the listing. So then it helps every, every side of whoever's, uh, verbiage it, it fits or terminology. Cause I know that the fiber arts people call it ribbons. I hear the junk journal world. They call it uh, sorry silk. Um, so, uh, strips. So anyways, there's so many different names, so many different things. I'm finally glad that I got it. And now I can work with it. So I figured I was going to put these into a uh, fat quarters, a fat quarter. If anyone doesn't know what a fat quarter is, it is, um, oh my gosh, I got to think here for a second. I'm so used to doing other numbers. It's 22 inches, 18 by 22 inch cut is a fat quarter. So I'm thinking about putting these into like four to eight fat quarter bundles. So it gives you a good cut of each piece. Now silk, silk is crazy expensive. So then I need to determine when I put these packs together, um, cost. So I have a feeling I'll be leaning towards like a four pack, maybe six, depending on the cost of that silk that I cut up. Um, I don't want the, the packs to be crazy expensive for you guys. So I'm going to do all blue packs, purple packs, yellow packs, green packs, orange packs, pink packs. I'm looking for some whites and ivories. I'm waiting for that to come. Black, the come. Black, white, and ivories are the hardest colors to find um, and obtain from India. So I'm working on it. So baby steps. So I'm putting them all in color packs and then I will have a variety pack. So those who just don't want just one color, you want a variety. I'm going to do like a rainbow variety pack. Um, let me think here. I'm also going to, there's going to be a ton of scraps. So I'll have sorry silk scrap packs available in the shop coming up and then sorry strips, silk strips, or some people call ribbons, um, packs. So I'll have them and buy the color and I will also have them buy a variety pack. So I've got a lot of work on my hands. Um, looking at some of the silk, I also think I might even do, cause the trims on these are gorgeous. I might even do like swatch packs out of these. I know they're silk, but wait till you see some of these trims on this thing. It's just absolutely, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to bring this down a little bit like this and you can kind of see it for yourself. It's a windy day guys. So you're going to hear a lot of noise. Look at these blues. So what I mean by trims, oh my gosh, it is going to be so hard to cut this, guys. Again, beautiful woven silk, just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, this is what I mean by trims. At the bottom of these silk pieces is yardage of these trims. I think I'm going to cut them and then put them into like swatch packs, like maybe three by threes, four by fours. Comment down below. I need your, your opinion. Should I make some swatch packs as well by the color or a variation or variety colors? Cause this trim is all over like here. This is not exactly my favorite color, but like I have to look at, talk about earlier about checking product where you see stains and things. I have to look certain things over. I have to look over every piece. I have to open up every piece um, and do that. Here we go. 
I think there's a name for this trim. I think it starts with a Z. I need to look it up of this silk. Zeta, Zeta, uh, something. I have to figure out the name. So when I do the listing, you guys will know. But oh my gosh, look how elegant the silks are. It's soft, it's flowy, but it's taut like cotton, which is awesome. Look at the border of that trim. See what I mean by the trims at the bottom? Cut that straight off and um, make little square packs, I think, too. Look at it, see? So I got a lot of tedious work to do. I just wanted to show you some of the prints. Aren't they just gorgeous? Oh my God, the silk is just beautiful. Oh, so Victorian-ish, this one. It's almost like aqua blues, like a bluish green. Oh my gosh, look at this. Maybe I should be selling it by the half yard. Half yard yard cuts. 18 by 22, just do in fat quarters. I don't know. Comment down below what you guys think. I just thought four fat quarters would be great. So yeah, just absolutely beautiful. Look this up some or move this over for you guys to show you. All right, so there are some blues. I'm making a mess and it's gonna be hard for you guys to see. Oh, looks like here's some darker blues. Just gorgeous, right? Just absolutely just, oh. Guys, I have some beautiful pieces coming. Oh, they're beautiful. I could even see, if you're a junk journaler watching, I think this also, being that it's like a cotton and it's taut, see the woven part in the back? This is the back part. This is the front part. It's so taut, I can even see how you can make junk journal covers out of it. You can put something solid like a cardboard, sew the edge, or just back it with a, a cotton fabric and then put the, the cardboard in between. I don't know, but it is like paper. Uh, which is what I'm looking for. That's the goal. Is that pretty or what? Ugh. All right, so there's blue. Let me press pause and move it over to see if we can see some purple. Okay, hope I didn't. Oh, good, I didn't cancel out my whole video and hit the wrong button. <laughs> All right, here is purple, or so they say is purple. Back this up some. So I got a ton of cutting to do today, guys. Look at this one. Isn't that gorgeous? Looks like it's perking out. Looks like a little, see what I mean? Like some of the purple has like a little bit of pink in it. At least it looks kind of pink to me. This one's just okay. It might be like a filler. It's pretty. So this is new. So the vendor I have, I'll, I have to let her know that I'm not a huge fan of just the solids. I love the ones like this they give the beautiful designs and so since like I said this is new I'll say hey please don't send like this send some like this Isn't that the beautiful that's the purple I'm talking about that's the kind of purple packs I want to do see here's purple purple look at that purple and I'm loving that purple yeah I'm thinking like four packs don't you guys think four packs four fat quarters would be 18 inch by 22 inch cut each, which that would give you a, pretty much one yard in total of silk, um, is what I'm thinking. So I got some more, there's that trim. Like I said, if I just cut that off, put them into little packs, look at this one. Gorgeous. I think I might even just open up the red and green. The green is calling my name over there too. That one. Oh my, this one's got some beads in it. Like, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. I should back this up again. Getting too close to you guys. Look at this one. It's got, see the beads in it? Not sure what I'll do with this one. That, that one's different for sure. Look at that purple. Now that's the kind of purple I'm talking about. I wanted a rich purple. Look at that, just stunning. Oh my God, isn't that stunning? Wow, oh my gosh. Okay, I say I'm in love with purple too. <laughs> I think I'm in love with it all. All right, let me grab the green really quick. Okay, here's green. I think I only got 10 green. I kind of wish maybe I should have got 20 green, but like I said, silk's expensive, so I spent this, 
This is a lot of money I'm showing you right now. So it cost me a lot of money for this product. This is really a test. Um, and I want it to be affordable for you guys. So however I do these packs, the way I do them, I want it to where, okay, it saves you guys like, oh, that's a great price. I want this and this and this. And yet um, I can make a bunch of them kind of thing. So that was the goal. Here's this green. If you can see the color in it. Oh, wow. That's just gorgeous. Green, if anyone ever watches me, and you should know by now, green is my favorite color. And why did I only get 10? I don't know. What was wrong with me? I should have bought 20. I think I might just have to go ahead and order more. Because I want a more variety of green. I need more here. This is this is beautiful, but I need I need more. For sure. It's beautiful. I'm looking, I have a certain kind of green I'm looking for. It looks like there's purple on the other side of this guy. So I can get some purple out of him. Oh my gosh. God, is that beautiful. And look at that just simple green. Just you can see my hand through it. It's like a little rip. See, that's another thing I had to look for is the rip product. And then you can see it through the pattern, sort of, but not as much. But that would be beautiful on the strips or AKA ribbons. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, there's green. I'm gonna run over to red. Green is cute, but I'm not like crazy, crazy about it. I need more beautiful prints of green. I think I'm gonna have to go message her um, and let her know. Let me go ahead and get the uh, red next. Okay, red, I did 10 as well, but I'm looking at this red and I'm in love. Um, so I think, I need to get 10 more green, 10 more red, looking at it, but look at here, beautiful, isn't that beautiful? Woven silk, guys, I'm going to make you the most beautiful packs, I promise. Now comment below if you think I shouldn't you know, also do smaller packs, they don't have to be fat quarters, they say 18 inch by 22 inches. I do have those um, uh, Dupita packs that are the uh, are ten and a half by ten and a half packs. There's ten in a pack. If ten and a half by ten and a half inch squares are good for you in a ten pack, comment down below. Yes, please let me know because I'm doing this for you guys. So if you think you like a ten pack of ten and a half by ten and a half and not such large pieces, just let me know. I will. Those are easy for me. Now, fat quarters, I don't do so often. I do a lot of 10 and a half by 10 and a half packs. Um, I keep getting closer and closer to you guys. <laughs> it's just absolutely gorgeous, right? So the reds are beautiful. I'm gonna have to message her, maybe get some either bolder reds or um, like here's a bold red. Like here's a darker red, let me get this out. I need to ask for 10 more bolder ones or lighter ones because these reds seem kind of light to me. Here's a bold red. Now look at that. See that bold red? I think I need to order 10 more bold reds because if I'm going to do packs, I want some equal amounts of both light and darker colors of the tone. All right. Well, I got more colors. I guess I can grab those packs. Okay, I'm thinking these are the light pink. She didn't wrap this one, so I'm assuming. I got 20 light pink, but it looks like I think she might have added some more here for gift to me. A lot of times when I order product overseas, they gift to me a lot of things. Look at that pink. Pink is going to be absolutely gorgeous. I specifically, specifically said, please, light or pale pinks. And um, she did find that. Here is a little bit. This is the darkest I want to go in pink. You can see what I mean. I want to keep them as light as possible. Now, I like this, but I think this looks more purplish to me. But who knows? We'll put it there. This is definitely purple to me because here it is pink. That looks purple to me. So, again, even though she calls this a pink pack, I sometimes have to switch out things and count product. But that is a purple and it is gorgeous. So, put it over there. Again, this here has a purple tint to it. I'll put that on purple side. Pink, absolutely gorgeous. And I'm getting close to you guys again. Here's a pale, pale pink. 
absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, these are looking good. I do see some purplish colors in there um, that um, this is more orangey to me. Um, so I will definitely put that aside towards the orangey pack. It's pretty though. I didn't ask for orange, I think, but I, I can go check over there. I have to check my log. So yeah, there's some darks in here. Like I would consider that purple, put that in the purple pack. I think these are gifts. I think she gave these to me because they're not wrapped. So I'm not going to complain. I'm going to count stock first and then go from there. But look at this. Doesn't that look peachy? Oh my gosh, that is pretty. Like here's a peachy color. I think I can get away with doing a peachy silk pack. Look at that. One, two, three. I just need one more. Look at that. Yeah, I'm going to bring it over to you here in a minute. Isn't that pretty? Yep, I see peach for sure. I didn't account for peach, but that is definitely a peachy color. Okay, let me go ahead and see what else I got over there. I got two more bundles over there, and I don't know what they came from. Wow, I think she gifted me much more than I thought. Not bad, huh? Good. I'm, hey, I'm a big fan of giving for those who know. <laughs> I love giving and adding more things to your guys' packs so you guys can sample things out. So far, my favorite color is the blue. Second is my, I would definitely say purple. Um, green is usually my favorite color and it's not seemed to tickle my fancy at all. Um, so I need to order more green. I'm gonna grab those other two packs and see what they are really quick. I'm not gonna put you on pause. I'm just gonna grab them. Um, they feel like 10 packs. Well, they both look orangey, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, it's like, oh, wow. Okay, yes. This is orangey for sure, and I am loving it. I'm not a crazy huge fan of orange, but oh, looky here. That peachy pack I told you about. Yes, I put it aside too. Peachy. Where are you, peachy? One. This is like a peachy pink. It's like a pinkyish. Okay, that's a little more orangier than those colors. That might not do, but I'm getting there. I think that looks more orangey. This is more peach. This is not going to do. We'll find that fourth peach. All right, but that is absolutely beautiful. Isn't that pretty? I guess I could just lift this up like this to show you. And I have a feeling I see like a peachy color there. Hello? Yes, you're pretty. Yep, I think I found our fourth peach, guys. It's got this little green tint to it. But you got this one. You got this one. You got this one. And this one. That is beautiful. That is definitely going to be a pack. I'm in love with that peach. Okay, so these are obviously orange and they're absolutely gorgeous. For those who are doing orangey things. My mom, she's coming, I think next week. I have to go get her. She lives eight hours south of me. And so I need to go drive down, pick her up. And then I think she's going to stay with me for a week or two, probably two weeks or more. Isn't that beautiful? Yep, so that was orange. So orangey, let's put you right down here. Let's put you over and grab this guy. What are you? Oh guys, I need to make more room on my shelves. So it's so neat to introduce new things to the shop and I could try new things for you guys. And just so you guys know too, I didn't tell you guys, is that um, sari trim rolls, you know, like the beautiful sari trim uh, rolls of, of, I'm tongue tied. <laughs> Sorry, trim rose. So the, the beautiful woven trim that is in rolls and you can buy it by the yard that I have it in shop. I've been so low on stock. I just bought 50 different rolls. So 50 different patterns that are beautifully woven um, trim that's coming in too. That's coming in as well. So, all right, I could do this. And this is not even opening up each and every one of them. Looks like this is my yellow packs. So here we got yellow. For those who love yellow, that is beautiful. This one's got some little beadiness to it. And I'm close up again. Get right here. This is absolutely gorgeous. 
All right, guys. Well, I thank you for joining me as I open these up. Now I got to open them all the way up, each and every one of them. Figure out what packs go where. I need to probably throw them on the clothesline. They even smell bad not compared to some things I get. I let them hang out for the day. And then I bring them down and pick my colors. And I make a pack and I do my photo shoot. And then voila, then I cut, start the cutting process. <laughs> and then I pack them up and then I stock them in the shop for you guys. And then bam, that's how you guys get your product. So there you guys have it. I got some silk in the house, baby. And we're gonna have sorry silk ribbons. We're gonna have sorry silk packs, if you wanna call it sorry silk. I, it's gonna be pure silk pure woven silk packs and bundles um, and trims and possibly if you guys comment down below let me know if you guys want those little swatch packs like different swatches of them three inch or four inch I'm thinking four and a half inch four and a half inch by four and a half inch maybe 25 pack of them in square form um, for whatever project you guys are making again thank you guys for watching this is always a project just trying to get this stuff out I still got 300 scarves down there. I got to go through and examine those as well. So, all right, guys, have a great day. I know where I'm going to be to about midnight-ish tonight to uh, get this all processed and ready for you guys. And hopefully by this weekend, fingers crossed, we will have these items listed in the shop and um, a daily deal. I'm hoping my, my eyes twitching because he's saying, okay, you're... <laughs> you're being ambitious and I'm hoping um, to do a daily deal it's been a while it's because I I'm in here cutting I am I do this all myself so one day I will hire someone one day but I'm very particular as you guys know when you get your packs I'm very particular on how I pack them and I want them absolutely perfect so all right guys comment down below anything positive um, I'm glad to do this this is absolutely fun to do. Um, and I'm glad I get to do it for you guys. All right, guys, have a good day. Bye.